Hi everyone, Cheeky Tam here and Tim. Hello all. Today, thanks to Brian, we're going to be doing another a UK taste test. Oh, we've got pasty. Wow, lots of cool things in here. I see lots of biscuits. Sorry, oh. sorry, excited. I actually awesome. really, really like the UK biscuits. Now, we've got a note in here. Do you oh, want to hello. read that? Hello, Hi. Tam and Tim. Hope you're both keeping well. Here's some more treats for you both to enjoy. Uncle Brian, there should be a box and an envelope. Ah, hey, that's why you got two. Right. Yes. Well, that's what's in that one. Ooh. And in this one. You're going to drop it all in there. Yeah, I am. You ready? Yeah. Oh, wow. And there's a picture of me. Oh, my gosh. That's <laughs> you. <laughs> what am I doing on that? You should see. See the company, hun. Yeah. They're using your image. Oh, see, like that guy suing Nirvana. Oh, okay. <laughs> I want to try these ones first. And these ones are lemon cream. They're from Hill Biscuits. So it looks like a custard cream, but with a lemon filling. Hmm. Oh, wow. Awesome. Beautiful little pattern on the biscuit. Oh, that smells amazing. You can actually see the lemon cream inside there. Yes. A nice firm vanilla biscuit with a soft creamy lemon center. It's quite nice, isn't it? Mm. Just the right amount, right consistency. The right amount of tang in the lemon as well. Mm. And that lovely amount of sweetness in there as well. Mm. These are gorgeous, really nice. I've never heard of this company before. Hill since 1855, so they've been around a while. No, Put I... your hand out, hun. Why? Of course, I've got something for you. That's your broken part. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know if I necessarily like the vanilla biscuit part as much as some of the other uk biscuits but it's still very nice you know i liked I, it all did yeah no i'm not saying i don't like it i like it but i don't know if it's as good as say the jacobs or boxes or i got something in my eye an eyeball they're pain aren't they oh, no. they're hard to get out i don't want to get it out you know i heard a joke the other day and i thought it was quite funny what did the fish say when he swam into a wall Damn, Fox's Crinkle Crunch Butter Biscuit. Doesn't that sound good? More yum per crumb. Oh, what's, what's he got that? to say? It's a panda. Why do pandas look sad? And a nice little flat cookie. Not too thick. Have a smell. So I'll break this in half. Is it soft or hard? It's nice and crunchy. There you go. Thank you. Mmm. Lovely, simple, buttery vanilla cookie. Very nice. And it's buttery, isn't it? Mm. You don't notice the butter until you sort of get rid of what you put in your mouth and you taste it. It's weird. Would you go out and get them again, though? Yes. <laughs> you want to think about it? No. No, they're nice. Very simple. Almost too simple, though. But I like that. You like simple? I married you. They're a little light, elegant biscuit. They're just a biscuit mm. that's crunchy and it's got a buttery aftertaste. Butter kissed, crunchy toffee popcorn. Gluten free, source of fiber, made from whole grains, vegetarian friendly, no colors, blah, blah, blah. I'm glad they like vegetarians. They've got other kinds there, as you can see on the back. So, Tammy, let me ask a question without you looking at it. Is it butter kiss or butter kissed? What? Name of it, butter kiss or butter kissed? Butter kissed? Yes! Just making sure you read it right. Uh huh. Mmm. Oh. Ooh, that smells good. It does. Nice size little popcorns, really well coated with caramel. Alright. It's toffee actually. Caramel toffee. Same time. Nice. Hmm. I guess I know what side these are going on. They're, they're already. No, this is true. Mmm. They're nice. Very Moorish. I really like the toffee on the outside. It's got mm. that nice amount of butteriness to it. And it's not too bitter. No. Sometimes toffees can be a little I, bit bitter. I don't mind a bitter one. As long as the toffee's not super sickly sweet and weird. Yeah. I like it. Is that the down claw? Yeah. <laughs> Nailed it, claw. <laughs> That's a, these are all mine. Okay. You've got no chance in getting any off me okay. because of that. Good. Beautiful popcorn, nice big puffy pieces, lovely caramel coating on the outside, that toffee coating. Mm. Delicious. Love it. And they're friendly to vegans. Got these ones here, and I'm not Why sure if we've they? had these before. They're chocolatey boxes, fabulous biscuits, shortcake biscuits coated in smooth milk chocolate with an orange flavour cream centre. It sounds very English of them. Have we? Because the orange. English orange. Have yes. we had these? I don't know, we'll soon find out. Will we though, even if we eat it? I won't, you should. <laughs> I know I won't. <laughs> I don't even know what I had for dinner last night. Oh. Oh dear. We've had a little bit of a disaster. They're a little bit melted. So you get to see the inside of them. Yeah, so that's what they look like on the cover. 
So you've got chocolate surrounding it, a vanilla cookie, and then you've got that cream, cream. filling, which is an orange flavor. It's nice. I like it very much. Hmm. I don't think the heat affecting it has affected it. I don't think the heat has oh. affected it. Okay, yeah, yeah. So it took a while to go in. <laughs> The chocolate on it's really good and that orange flavour is just there enough that you go oh what was that that was orange i like how the cream smashes in with the biscuit when you bite into it smashes in yeah it sort of blends in and it sort of complements the biscuit do you know what i mean yeah. it gives you a bit of chew to the crunch <laughs> yeah. it really does it's really good <laughs> she's laughing at me today do you know what it face. is no no <laughs> started the video with this. <laughs> Next we're going to have some Fox's Raspberry and Cream Melts. Luxurious Viennese Biscuit with a Raspberry Jam and Vanilla Flavour Cream Filling. Ta-da! That was not what I was expecting. It don't look like how I was expecting even though now I look at it, it is like that on the cover. Tell me what you think guys, if you oh. open that up would you say that's what you were expecting? That sounded a little bit British then didn't it? There you go, you, you can break this one. You know one. what it is though, break I think... Break it in front of the camera. I think I saw that and I thought oh. that that looked like a round cookie. Smell them though. They smell good. They, they smell, smell really nice. You can see the beautiful way that that cream filling has been piped into there too. Mm -hmm. One bit's big, oh, one little bit. bit's little. Oh wow, look at the jam inside. Whoa. Mm. They're quite decadent and rich. Oh, the Viennese biscuit cookie is really... Viennese? <laughs> crumbly. It's sweet, crumbly, got mm -hmm. a nice amount of butter in it. You know it's really good? The jam. The jam poking on out from the cream mm. is really good. It's like a stretchy jam, if that makes sense. It has a little bit of a bakery feel about it. Yeah. Would you get these again? Yes. British winner, biscuits. Winner. Really good. Next up, we're going to try this, and it's called Honey Monster. Nothing scary in here. What are they, puffs? It's wheat puffs, <laughs> and this is like a breakfast cereal. Similar you know, to the one that we used to have when we were kids. Do you remember puffed wheat? Yeah. Do you ever seen it on the shelf lately? No, because I don't eat cereal anymore. Mum used to love getting us puffed wheat. We hated That's it. Wheat puffs with a dash of honey. So we might try that for breakfast one day. So let's Can't try. Can we just it. open it and try some now? Oh, do you want to try it straight for the pack? Yeah. Oh. Just grab a handful and eat it. Oh. Yeah, they're very light, little puffs of wheat. Mm. Like. You can actually eat it like that. I don't mind these. They're pretty good. Good grain, low fat, high fiber. Mmm. Nothing scary. It'd be nice with a bit of milk in a plate. Yeah, yeah, but see this, I'm going back for more breakfast cereal. It's nice and sweet too. I thought it was going to be a little bit boring. It's the honey. Because it says nothing scary in here, and I thought, does that mean it's going to be really good for us and it's not going to be that tasty? But it mm. tastes good. I like it. I'm not even... That's the Honey Monster. <clears throat> the name of the company mm. is called honeymonster.co.uk. Honey Monster. These are really nice, and it's something different than we get on the cereal shelves right now. Oh! I think we're gonna like these yeah, a lot them. for breakfast. We're eating them straight from when the When I pack. get up early in the morning and Missy here sleeps until 9.30, 10 o'clock and I'm hungry, I can get myself a little puff wheats of honey monster. That is not true. Oh. I do not sleep in that late. Tim gets up at two in the morning or some freakish time and plays with the fart machine in the drawer. <laughs> That's what I tell you anyway. <laughs> Tim discovered that when the fart machine's batteries go flat, it just keeps going. I'll go get it and show you. Yeah, so Tim was up at two in the morning and all he could hear coming from the drawer random weird muffled strange noises, which is pretty much what it's like living with Tim. <laughs> Now keep a straight face everyone because farts aren't funny, It's called right? a fart machine and it has a remote control. Yeah. Screw the back of it out, which makes it even louder. Turn it on and you can hide it behind somebody and go... <laughs> it has different tones. Oh, it's oh, not working. You're getting too weak. No, my battery's gone flat in this now. <laughs> Dad jumps every time. That, that one didn't scare me. That's the fart machine. The battery went low on this part and it just kept making sounds like it didn't have to push the remote, it just kept going. 
And I'm like, what the heck is that? So I knew it wasn't me. Did you? <laughs> Next we have McVitie's Jaffa Jonuts. They're not donuts, they're Jonuts. I like the name. Yeah. And I do love Jaffa cakes. I wonder what Joe thinks about it though. <laughs> Come in a beautiful little box. Yeah. Not easy to open either. They're childproof. Oh. And there's four individual packs in there. So it looked like there's a spare size. You can see there's four packs oh. inside. I wasn't expecting that. Do you think they'll look how they look? Yeah. Oh, oh. So like a donut. Yeah, donut. But what's so cool about this? They're actually not like the normal Jaffa cake. They're actually spongier and softer. Okay. So they're more like a donut or a cake. So we're going to have an orange flavour again, aren't we? It, yes. <laughs> have a look in. Oh, see. Have a look in the middle. Can you see anything? No. No, neither can I. Is this supposed to be? Well, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Can you see anything in there? No. Mm -hmm. It's something, look, you just see the darkness in the centre there. It's like a liquidy. Mm. You can actually see it in the middle there a little bit. Oh, yeah. That one you can see a lot. The flavour's good. Do you eat it with the chocolate on the top or on the bottom? I eat it with the chocolate on the bottom. And that's the it wrong way. It fits into the mouth better. Try it. Why? Mm. What's the difference? Try it. You, you'll be surprised. Isn't that so much better? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> They've got the flavour mm. of the Jaffa cake in here, definitely. And you've got that beautiful orangey sort of centre in there. You can taste that flavour. But I think I prefer the Jaffa cakes, the original traditional Jaffa cakes. This is a fun idea though. Flavour's there. Chocolate's really nice on it. Well, you ate yours quickly. No, they're quite nice actually. Mm. Jump for Jaffa Joy. You've hit the snack pot. Do not try to resist. Do not. Try to resist. Oh, I just read what I want to read, really. Yeah. Also in the packet, we've got some other little jelly tots which we've had before. They're my favourite. I love these. We've ones. had some little golden bears and some candy things. And my favourite of all, the old fruit pastels. Yum yum. Oh, you, 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 <laughs> you, you can't have everything. So thank you very much, Uncle Brian. Without you, this taste test would not have been possible. So could you please thank Uncle Brian in the comments below? Have a great week, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.